Yossi Vardy. Do you always sit on the grass? Pardon? Do you always sit on the grass? No, I sit wherever I can sit. So Yossi, welcome back to TechCrunch TV. You were on this time last year from Athens, Greece, and we're back in Athens at Stream 11, the great uh, WPP, joint WPP Yossi Vardy production. Yossi, have you had a good year? Yeah, I had a good year. Well, tell me more. <laughs> no, I think I think the internet is doing very nicely. I'm, uh, as you know, involved in uh, consumer-facing applications, and uh, I had few failures. I had three exits. I have nothing to complain about, and uh, it's nice. What were the uh, what were the failures, and what were the successes for you of the last year? The failures are too long. The list is too long to begin to to count all of them and uh, in, in my uh, portfolio uh, investment where I'm doing a very early stage, I have my fair share of companies which are going nowhere but on the other end, three of my, my companies uh, made exit uh, this year. One is Answers.com, the other one is Webia and the other one is two days ago uh, the gift project which was sold to eBay. So, all in all, I'm not complaining. And what sectors were they in? Answers.com is a, a search engine which provides one, one answer to every question, kind of a reference, a <laughs> overall reference a property. Webia is a, is a widget which enables you to approach many, many applications from one point and the gifts project which is now part of eBay enable few people to do joint uh, sharing so uh, these are more or less the, the different uh, properties is it true that you still invest in anyone who asks you pardon is it true that you invest in anyone who asks you? Almost. My wife says that it doesn't make any sense that every Israeli kid who come with big eyes and fire in his belly walk away from my home with investment. It's not exactly a true description, but fortunately in Israel we have tons of talented and motivated youngsters and I try to invest in some of them and other people are investing in other ones. In terms of sectors and areas, what's, uh, what's really excited you in the last year in terms of startup investments? Well, I think that uh, in the next uh, three, four years we are going to see a major paradigm shift in the way television is being watched and delivered. We are going to see a lot of uh, a, a huge growth of uh, connected TV. This will open a whole new space for applications, for innovation, for ideas, for creativities. I'm trying to do some early investments in this space and I think it will be very exciting. In terms of the television space, do you see opportunities for content companies or technology companies? Uh, I am, my, my interest, I'm sure the opportunities in both. My interest is mainly in social TV, how you merge what, uh, what we saw in the last five or six years with the new, new paradigms on television. Remembering from where I came, and I came from ICQ, the social connectivity is always very interesting for me. So, so social guess, hasn't run out of steam yet? There's still opportunities in the social space? Social didn't run out of steam since the creation of uh, civilization. So I don't think that it will run out of steam. People mainly want to, want to attend to other people and to be attended to. And what are you excited about this year or what would you like to be excited about? What opportunities would you like to see be opened up? Seeing more young people doing innovation, more young people being empowered, more young people coming with their ideas, more young people able to execute their dreams. I think this is very exciting. One of the great themes of Stream 2011 has been innovation and how to 
create innovation both on a personal and a national basis. Israel seems to be doing it better than the US. What advice would you give to America as it tries to innovate itself? <laughs> you know what uh, Freddie Laker was asked? He once was asked, what advice would you give to a young entrepreneur? And he said, go after your hunches, go and execute, don't hesitate, but never, ever, never give personal guarantees. That's a good advice. And Yossi, no TechCrunch TV interview would be complete without at least one, Yoss, one bad Yossi Vardy joke. So for the tens of thousands of Yossi fans on TechCrunch, give us a joke before we finish here. You have to tell me on which area, on which topic. Uh, Jewish mothers, please. Jewish mothers, that's easy. You know, you know what is the difference between a Jewish mother and Rottweiler? No idea. Jewish mother at the end, let's go. And you know what is, it's funny, you are supposed to, to laugh, <laughs> good. Well, I had a Jewish mother, so it's not that funny. Yeah, and uh, I, by the way, I inherited my mustache from my Jewish mother, uh, my Jewish father. And uh, you know what is the difference between a Jewish mother and Italian mother? No. Italian mother tell her son, finish the food or I will kill you. A Jewish mother tell her son, finish the food or I will kill myself. <laughs> well, on that, Half hilarious and half rather sad Jewish joke. Yossi Vardi, thank you so much for appearing on TechCrunch TV.